Hey, g'day guys, welcome to Pluspec tutorial in regards to creating timber. So, uh, you can also create bricks and tin and everything with the same method I'm about to show you. So, I'm going to show you how to make some uh, timber textures to suit your own particular style. Now, you'll notice inside the Pluspec dialog that we have uh, timbers, okay? Now, the way we do them in Australia is is 90 mil, which is the the depth of the timber by 35 millimeters, and H2. Um, you may not be aware of what that is if you're not in Australia. Is a treatment. So if I actually went into here and I went down, you can notice we've got H3 as well. Okay, what these do is signify the amount of treatment that we use in the timbers for uh, termite. Okay, so if I went and drew a wall now, I'll just show you how that relates. And if I just quickly create some scenes up here. And I go to my structure. What the actual size is relating to is the size of the timber that we're going to use. So if I took a, a dimension from here to here, you notice it's 35 millimeters thick. And if I took a dimension from here to here, it's probably going to be difficult to see on that purple there, but I'll bring it out at the end. I have a 90 mil piece of timber. Okay. Now I understand that in different countries you have different sizes, and also there's a thing called nominal size and and actual size. So, what happens is when they actually mill timber, uh, a piece of 90 by 35 would actually be a piece of 4 by 2, I guess, in the old imperial measurement, uh, which is 100 by uh, 100 by 50, I think it was. Regardless, the, what they actually do is to mill them so we get a, a straight piece of timber instead of straight out of the saw that they chop the trees down with, they actually run them through a thicknesser which gives them a thickness size. So you might like to call your timber a different size. You might like to call that four by one and a half or whatever it is. And you know, I know in some countries uh, they actually say one and a half by four, which I think is America. And I think in France they actually say uh, the first size, which would be 35 by 90 instead of 90 by 35. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay. So what we need to do first is actually create um, a texture. So essentially this texture is just an image that we put on the face of the timber. Okay, so you can do it really easily and you don't have to do it in any specific software. You can do it in Word or Excel or wherever you like uh, because it might be easy. But I'm going to show you how to do it in SketchUp and, and you can do this anywhere. Okay, so what I'm going to do in here is I'm going to write in, uh, let's say I make the timber 50 by uh, 100. Okay. And I might want to give it a, a, a type of timber, so I might want to call it Oregon. So, Oregon. So I just pushed in the enter, Oregon. Okay. All I need to do now is actually screenshot this, right? So, uh, at the moment I'm using Fastone Capture to do, which I do most of my screen editing in. But I'm going to use the Snippet tool, which is Windows, and I know that there is one in Mac as well. You have to Google what is your snipping tool. Okay. I'm going to go New. And all I'm going to do is I'm actually going to oops, go down here and I'm just going to screenshot the text by itself. Okay. And I'm going to save that to a location. Save as. Uh, and it's going to be 50 by, what did I call that? 50 by 100 Oregon. Uh, by 100. I'm going to go underscore Oregon. Okay. And save it. Okay, now I want to actually make my timber 50 by 100. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up to my wall tool and I go back inside of my timbers. Let's give it a second to open. And I'm going to go create material. Alright, so what it's done is it's opened up the internet. If you're not online, you will need to be online. And if you're not logged in, you need to log in. Okay. And you'll notice that it just came up with what I've already got chosen, but I want to create that new texture. So I'm going to go in there and I'm going to choose my 50 by 100 Oregon. I'm going to go open. Okay, now I want to give it a width of the texture. Now, the, the stud width is 50 millimeters. Uh, and it doesn't matter, you can put in anything. It just depends on how it reads in the model, and I'll explain that to you later. And the way that Pluspec works out is the widest part is the first one. So in this particular instance, it's 100 millimeters. So write in mm if it's inches, write in inches, whatever it is, okay? And I'm 50 millimeters in width, okay? Clicking this one here just means you haven't stolen somebody else's texture and it can be used in plus bag. Okay, now I have this next box up that comes up. Now, 
what we need to do is actually drag this material here into where it says drop your dragged material here. Okay, give it a second and it'll upload and you'll notice that it's changed. Now, if I just minimize this and actually go and draw a wall, a couple of walls, you would notice that if I go and measure it and almost by magic, uh, the size of the timber is correct. Okay, so I've got 50 millimeters wide timber and I've also got this way here. I've got 100 mil. So what I did is actually change the size and you can change these, the colors and the background. It depends on what you screenshot. The reason why I made the texture with 50 millimeters is so it fits and you can read it quite easily. It's a good way to communicate on site and to stop you having to do measurements and so on. So I, I don't like to have to go and measure but it's always a good thing to double check. Now there's also bricks and textures you can do as well and I'll show you how to do that a little bit later. But essentially the drag and dropping from online into uh, your dialog which is inside of here is pretty simple to do and you can go and quickly create all of your textures in one go and you know if you've got 30 different timber sizes that we don't already have by all means go and upload them. You can also associate a brand as well. If I go to my timbers you'll notice it says generic but you might have a particular lumber supplier or timber supplier that you want to actually put their brand in. Uh, by all means you can uh, in the create materials dialog you can go in here and go create a brand. So if I click this one here type in, the, type in the name of the brand and choose their logo so you probably want to get that stuff together first grab their logo put it in there and their logo will always show up in here so that way you know that the people that are working for you are specifying the products that you require you can manage this this um, information as well so uh, let's say I get out of this and I go manage I'm going to go and manage my materials okay because I, I logged out I can simply go in and remove materials if I didn't want my team to be using this particular size material um, we can make it so that they can just log in and use the type that you specify alright guys look I hope that helps you out I'll go and do another one with brick textures uh, roofing textures uh, in the next video cheers